was playing some Smash Bros in Banland when it hit me. I finally figured out how to destroy Salamangrates. Summon Cowboy? Shut up, Tom. Every real duelist knows there's only one way to beat Salamangrates. By buying the most beautiful playmat known to mankind and playing the best deck on it. I can sit here like every other YouTuber in the world and give you top 20 side deck cards of the meta to destroy Salamangrates, but no, because there is so that's what every other YouTube is for. That's not your average YouTube. So what we're gonna do instead is you guys are gonna see me obliterate them and live vicariously through me. With that being said, take notes on the game plan here, boys, because you're gonna notice I don't draw any particular side card to beat them. There's a game plan. There's a game plan. A game plan with this big brain of mine to destroy Salaman Greats regardless of the hand you draw. And you gotta build your deck for that. Now, not all of you are gonna be playing the deck I'm playing right here, but this is the best meta call in the game. And I recommend every single one of my viewers to play this deck, all right? I'm gonna be featuring this deck like crazy because it simply is the best deck in the game right now. As much as I love Pendulums, this is the best deck in the game right now. It's just the best meta call, obliterates literally everything. With that being said, guys, pay close attention to the style I play. It's going to be a dual thing in the background because it really is the best way for you guys to learn. I can sit here and tell you all the best side deck cards to play, but what does that really teach you? Uh, everyone knows how to Everyone knows to side deck card reboot anyways. So I'm going to show you guys without siding. I don't need to side. Siding is for losers, all right? Siding is for losers uh, or winners too, I guess, but... We don't side out here, all right? Because we're neither winners nor losers. We're champions. So with that being said, enjoy this video of me absolutely waxing Silent Man greats and learn for yourselves uh, the direct way and game plan behind how, what to play what card and how to build your deck around beating them. Stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, and check out the Trip Gaming beautiful playmat description below. Love you guys. Thank you all for the support. Now time for the duel. There is a game plan behind beating every single deck. Even pendulums can be beat. Now, I want you to pay close attention here, all right? We lost the die roll. We're facing Silent Man Greats. He's a fantastic player. Doesn't misplay once. His experience was a like huge unduel. He's a great player. The only way to beat a good a, duel, a good Silent Man Great player is by having a better game plan than them, all right? So what's Silent Man Great's game plan? This is how you're supposed to beat any single deck. Don't even pay much attention to the duel. More so, pay attention to... Pay attention to me talking. Alright, when the GOAT talks, you listen. When MJ talks, you listen. When Michael Phelps talks about swimming, you listen. When the Yu-Gi-Oh! God slash Pen God slash God himself talks, you listen. I'm not God. There's only one. And he's up there. Now, Salamangrid's game plan is the exact same every single turn as our Thunder Dragons. As are most decks right now, as are Sky Strikers, most of their game plans are the exact same, regardless of the build. Salaman Greats are going to put up, or they're going to go to the Stalio, they're going to set up back row, they're going to set Roar, maybe they'll have a Rage in hand or something, they'll have a Hand Trap, or they'll call by the Grave. You can expect three interruptions. You can expect the Counter Trap, which you're going to set, or the Roar, or Rage, whatever trap they want to set. You can expect a Hand Trap, or two, and a Call by the Grave, or a... Vice or two hand traps or a twisters that are called by the grave or two traps and an ash, something like that. You can expect three. The issue now is to OTK through the, their board. They have three monsters on board plus a protection plus a gazelle. That's five cards you got to OTK through. Plus three interruptions plus a one card engine for every turn. So that's why you guys are having trouble beating it. But rest assured the hero is here is going to save the day. So as you see here. We're going to fast forward. I should have fast forward their whole turn. Boring as hell. And there you go. So you have, he has three back row with two cards in hand at the typical Salaman Great setup. You want a game plan here on how to beat them. Now, as I said, I'm playing the best deck in the game right now, which is Danger Orcus PK Mash. But we're throwing Shadals in there because the engine of Shadals are incredible. And I have more crazy combos to show you guys. Uh, it, it, it's amazing. The deck's insane. I'll show you why. So here's a game plan on how to beat Salaman Greats. You got to one by one. Pick their back row. One by one. Little by little. Little by little. You got to get rid of each of their back row. And simply OTK their ass into oblivion. So with that being said. What do we do here? When someone does a lure of darkness off the bat. What's that mean? 
That means a fresh Thunder Dragon Roar is getting ready to get itself into the Banish Zone to add yourself a Dark and a free plus 50 billion. So what do we do? We bait him into using the Counter Trap to save, to make sure that our good cards will resolve regardless of the Counter Trap. So we allure, that's how you bait one interruption. One down, two to go, boys. Little stuff like that. Next, what do we do? We're like, you know what? We play Shadals, right? Let's get rid of another back row. Little by little, you got little by little, you got to have enough cards in your deck to one by one out everything, and then o OTK. If you're playing Pendulums, you little by little, you don't even go into Electrum. Let them pop everything, Pensum, and Pensum, and then you win. You just got to be smart with your resources. But for everyone, I recommend playing this deck, man. It's the best meta call for everything. Shadal Dragon, get rid of another back row. Response, man? What would, you, what would you like to do? Call by the grave? No problem. Two interruptions, gone. Now we have a third interruption to deal with and a potential hand trap. No problem. That's four interruptions we'll be dealing with. Next, what do we do? We roll it into Greffer instead of into Armageddon Knight. Why? Because that could be the that could be the uh, other trap. That could be the pop two trap. So we're going to assume it's the worst. We're going to assume it's the pop two trap. You should always assume it's the worst. Next. Greffer, Thunderbird. Greffer, pop, uh, Thunderbird. Uh, the summoning condition, whatever, Thunderbird, dis uh, discards itself, summon Greffer, pop that back row. Three interruptions, gone. It wasn't even interruption, let it pop, who cares? Just like that, we got rid of three interruptions. We gotta got assume that's a trap. We got rid of three interruptions, just like that, there was nothing you could have done about it. Thunderbird, Dragon, Allure, boom, three gone. Now, we can play. We still gotta be wary of a hand trap. He has Falco, Gazelle, and a random. So next, we go Sky Blaster, bring out two more cards. Now, I'm going to show you guys why this actually is the best deck. Let him add anything he wants from his graveyard. He's losing. Now, we have to, like I said, just slowly get rid of everything. Now, we use Greffer's Effect to send this Strudo. And we want some cards in hand. So, we're going to send Cloak. The utility of the deck is incredible. Uh, now, I'm simply... This is a, how to destroy Salamangri, not, not how to play this deck. So, we're going to keep going. Yazi, get rid of one more card. Now, we got rid of three interruptions. Now, you got to clear the five monsters, right? This is why this is simply the best deck. So... Little by little, as you see there, we keep sending Cloak, add Boots, Boots, add Fog Blade. Little by little, sending everything to clear his entire board. And you're going to keep drawing into more good cards. That's the beauty of it. You're going to keep drawing into more good cards. Next, like Karibo. We're going to just keep going here. We're literally going to go through the entire combo. Every Nightmare card. Little by little, we're plucking everything away. So Cerberus, discard that. Get rid of one card. He protects it to uh, stop us from drawing, which is the right play. Next, we're going to go into Unicorn, get rid of one more card, draw, and then go into the whole Orcus play to win. It's that amazing. Like, now we're going to go into Mermaid, and we win. Like, we got rid of everything. You see that? That's the game plan. That's why this is the best deck in the game, and that's how to destroy Salamangri. Little by little, he scooped when he saw Mermaid, because Orcus is going to come up and put a uh, Boral Sword and win. Now we're going second again. As you saw there, we stuck to the game plan. We're going to fast forward this whole turn, because their turns are... Okay, there we go. You see, see that right there? He bricked, he bricked, but did he really? Did he really? If a Salamon great player ends with that, what's that mean? That means he has two hand traps in hand. That means he has two hand, he almost him in his speedy. All right? This is where you guys uh, misplay against Salamon greats. He almost him in speedy, which means he has no Salamon greats in his hand, which means he only set one, which means the only remote other cards in the world that the cards in his hand can be are hand traps. All right, don't forget that. This is also why we play. We played a lot of normal summons in this deck to allow him to uh, discard our normal summons to uh, with the danger, so we could normal after because we don't want our normal summons getting negated. Right uh, now, this is a little unfortunate of a turn. We're gonna keep going. We just kept drawing more normal summons. It's extremely unfortunate. Uh, in a sixty card deck, you want to play a good amount. That gets valid. That's cool. We now go into Phoenix. We're gonna pop the last back row. We're going to pop that back row. We're good. And then he veilers that. He veilers that last thing, which means it's good. So, okay, he veilers that's all good. We're, we're Gucci. We're simply going to go to Mermaid and win the game now. So, we go into, like, look at that. So, we dealt with uh, the two interruptions. We got rid of that. Now, he, this is probably a pretty good back row, but we're not going to simply go into Mermaid and call it a day and win. What we should have done is attack with Sukinoko and Armageddon Knight. That's what we should have done. Uh, to, that, that's how to beat Salamangre as well. Just clear the, uh, their link cards. So they can't really do anything. Then we use Phoenix. We would have won, but uh, we didn't, there was a counter trap we didn't expect it there. We used Mermaid to bring out the Orcus, and there was a counter trap. So if we simply attack with Armageddon Sukunoko, that's how you beat over Salamangrates again. How to beat Salamangrates, game plan. Lots of different ways to do it. 
One is by attacking the links and only have one or two. Uh, so then we're in a very unfortunate situation. Uh, we have to wait for one turn. We got a fog blade to protect us. Hopefully he doesn't draw a gazelle or something like that or a debug. And then we uh, lone fire next turn into Shadal Fusion and win the game. So that's situation now. And let's see what he does. So again, you, there's a lot of, uh, to the game plan of how to beat this deck. Anything but a, a, he's bound to draw a starter because he didn't draw like a really, really good starter last turn. He goes spinny, uh, which I definitely saw it coming. Wolf, uh, Wolf again to take a card, and then we Fog Blade to uh, use Wolf effect instead of Roar's effect, so we're lit. He sets a card, we're golden right now. We're absolutely golden. Uh, we have Lone Fire in our hand. We're going to get Shadal Fusion. We, we uh, pretty much auto win here. Uh, Lone Fire, discard Sky, uh, sorry, Lone Fire, Scorpio, discard Sky Blaster, Cobra, get up Shadal Fusion, and then look at this, boys, look at this. Look at this. Rivalry of Warlords. Now, not many people play Rivalry. But cards are insane. Now, this is going to be a, a lot of back and forth of uh, passing. Because uh, you can't do anything. Until I draw a Danger Nessie. So, how to beat Rivalry. You literally just... He, after Lord, he uh, he drilled that. We set. Should all fusion. Should all dragon pop that Rivalry. Also, why should alls are so good. And really, just that's how you play Rivalry. You get your dangers to set your cards. And Shadal Dragon Pop. And we still can't do much, unfortunately, because Destrudo on window. So we're going to send, send Boots to get a Fog Blade. I should have done a send a Destrudo to have it on field, wait one turn, hope I don't lose, and then go into next turn win. But he desires, which is unfortunate. And uh, this is a super long duel, but I'm going to fast forward it. I ended up losing this duel. Uh, it's a super, it's a fantastic duel. Uh, but Roar kept coming in clutch. And again, this is not how to play my deck. It's more so how to destroy Silent Man Greats. Now, I don't enjoy, I don't like hoping to draw into Denko. I don't like hoping to draw into Reboot. I like winning the normal way, which is just by cards in your deck. So, now I'm going to show you guys something extra special. Uh, this game was remarkable. What a comeback. So, we go first here. The plan is simple here, boys. We're going to put up Evil Storm Nightmare with Double Fog Blade. That's the plan. Uh, he Valor is a Sky Blaster. Mermaid Resolves, Ash, and boom. Valor, Ash. He... Uh, what's the deck do? What Salamangres do? It's ha they, have, they have 20 side cards that they can play on top of their engine. So, I, I think I Valor, I think I Ash, it sucked. But it, the game's not over, obviously. He's left with a, a Dino Wrestler. And now he's got to play little by little. We got to destroy it. We got to play smart. I want to... This is how you play against it. It's uh, You just never give up. Never give up. You keep going. And whenever it seems like you lose, you just don't give up. He ogred that. And we just keep going here. You gotta, We want to keep drawing some good cards. Uh, we just keep going. We keep going. We go through. I want to show you more so on their turn how to play around their, their combos. We drew to Shadal Fusion, which we couldn't use because he didn't have an extra deck card. Uh, and we just keep going there. Draw, pop. He's going to destroy that. We're going to go double Fog Blade. So, double Fog Blade, Shadal Fusion for next turn. And that's the situation here. What happens now? He, uh, draw. He, tw I don't, uh, I just ruined it. He twin twisters, which is fantastic. Look at this. So, Salamangrates are going to have hands like this. Any single deck, all right? Look at Trick Stars back in the day. Garbage by stars. Brick stars. Brick, brick star by strikers. They would play 15 one-card engines and 25 staples. Obviously, you're going to draw hands with all staples. Obviously. That is what uh, Salamangrates are bound to do sometimes. They have 15 engine cards and the rest are staples. They're going to brick every now and then. So, this is what happens. The issue now is when you have those six cards plus a starter, it's scary. It's scary. Just like you saw there. How are you going to come back from that? He Lady Debug with six cards, and that's scary. These cards protect you from losing, and then the starter, it gives you uh, infinite, like, uh, infinite plus. Infinite plus. So now, how are we going to come back from this? This is what I want you guys to see. How does a player come back from a normal summon lady debug, one card, one card top deck? How do you come back from that? That's the question. That is the real question. If if any deck could do it, it's mine, to be honest. Uh, but hey, we're going to see what happens here. He puts me around 800, I believe. And this he sets up his entire... He, boom. He sets... He had the Ash. He set up his entire thing. And our Shadal Fusion doesn't resolve. Uh, absolutely sad. He added the Ash back with the Wolf. Uh, how are we going to come back from this, right? How are we going to come back? And here it is. Let me show you guys. Uh, it's not that difficult. It's a one-card engine, right? The deck's a one-card engine. But 
What happens when you clear the entire board? So we got the Distrudo and Grave. We went the Yazzie. And now, very simply, Yazzie pops, he protects as he should. We're going to clear his entire board. We're going to clear his entire board. What do they do after you clear their entire board? What do they do after they clear the entire board? We put his own card in defense. We don't care about damage. We couldn't OTK. We clear their entire board. And now look where that debug left him. I want you guys to see where that debug left him. Look at his graveyard. All he needs is a starter. All he needs is a starter, right? But that's how you do it. You clear their board. And what are they going to do? Scoop. When you're the greatest of all time, that is how you beat Silent Man Greats. You one by one pick at their cards. One by one. Now, if they opened some starters instead of their hand traps, they were guard. I was OTK lived the turn before. But they had opened too many hand traps against me to start. It was unfortunate. Uh, that's how you beat them. You got to be smart. You got to be smart. One by one, pick their back row and OTK their ass, clear their board, OTK their ass into oblivion, and negate their one gazelle. And that's the video, boys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to get your beautiful trip gaming playmat in the description below. And that's how you beat Salaman Greats by buying the beautiful Trift Gaming Playmat. It automatically lets you destroy them and gives you an auto 2 0 buy against them by using the beautiful Electromite Playmat and summoning non patch zone cards in it, or even better, a Dark Worm. That's the video. I hope you enjoy it. See you guys next video. Peace.